Do what? Can you go like this? Can you do it? Oh, good job. That's why I'm So this is our first day of back to school. So we're all eating. Mom, that's why I want toast. <laughs> Breakfast together. Oh yeah. Sit down. Luke, are you excited about school? I'd like to be on break forever. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for school? Yeah! Yeah! Sit down, please. Sit down. Yeah, pick up Oh, yeah. It's a sunflower. <laughs> well, I am reading Boxcar Children Out Loud. Micah wants to hear it too, so he's doing his math nearby. Eli chose a puzzle to work on, and Tori's coming in a picture. Maybe she'll incorporate the Boxcar Children into her. And Noelle thinks well, she's doing a puzzle thinking, too. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. Making the box kite. I love this book. My mom used to read it to me and my brother when we were little, so it's good memories. It's an easy chapter book. I'm good at checking grade. What do you think about first grade math? That's good. Mama, that was easy. Mom, listen. Mom, listen. Oh, no, no, no. We can't paint that. You can paint the window. That's fine, but not the puzzle box. The things I find well doing while we're busy with school <laughs> are far and wide. So if it doesn't look like it's going to hurt anybody or permanently damage anything, I'm going to let her do it. Is that all you have to practice? No, I'm just getting my book. Oh, okay. What are you today? A dinosaur. Mmm, that costume looks like it's, you're growing out of it. It's a, <laughs> this costume is a little tight on me. Yeah, I can tell. So today we're trying something new. We're all sitting together for reading time, which usually we go to our own spaces. But I wanted to try it out. I'm reading too. Lucas having a little trouble reading to himself, but and Micah's book is a little challenging, so I'm letting him read along while he listens on an audiobook. Judah's book is on a Kindle. So far, so good. We've lost Tori and Eli, but everybody else is still going strong, right, Luca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got some milk dripping. <laughs> Guys, look at this cute outfit. Isn't she so sweet? Whoa, we gotta get that milk. I have no hands left. <laughs> this is like an $8 Carter's outfit, but it's so warm and fuzzy inside, like super soft sweatshirt material. And it's finally cool enough today. For her to wear it and she looks so cute yes you do you look so cozy and yesterday her tooth popped out you had a tooth pop out didn't you <laughs> let's see if we can see it can we see it is it seeable oh there it is you guys see there is a real live tooth there real live tooth there <laughs> noelle just woke up from her nap she um, 
I don't know. When I taped, filmed her earlier, I'm not sure if she was wearing this. This is her third outfit change of the day. Okay, you ready? No. is a hot mess today. And she doesn't like pants today for some reason. And has to button her own shirt. What are you doing, Hope? Whenever she sees the camera, she starts acting really weird. I'm gonna turn the camera away and just aim it over here. Okay, now I think she's acting normal. And we're going to. Uh. We are about done with our school day, finally. Um, I spend about an hour and a half in the morning reading to one of my older kids, a different one each day of the week, and then I spend two hours with my kindergarten, or first and second grader, I guess, this year, and preschooler, working with them, sometimes a little less. And then in the afternoon, after lunch, we read together, and then I often have to spend time with that morning child again reading some more to catch up on all their reading that I have to do with them for the week. And then I have a two hour block or a little more that I spend with my four older kids going over all their stuff that they did that day and working with them on any trouble areas they had in math or their grammar or any of those things. So it takes us fully till dinner time, or at least my part. The kids can get done a lot earlier than that. The little ones, obviously they're school time is two hours or less but it takes full a full day for me i come to the end of the day exhausted i never have trouble sleeping at night and because beyond all of that school i still have a toddler and i have a baby and i have to make breakfast lunch and dinner usually and the house is never as clean as i want and I never quite get as much school done as I want, but I really do like my job. I think it would be very hard to homeschool because it's a big job. I think it'd be really hard to homeschool if you don't like it. Um, I don't know how people do it that don't love it because that is the only thing that gets me through a lot of days. So it's been a good day. Solo got home early. He is making dinner for me, bless his heart. And he, somebody gave us tickets to the Lincoln Symphony tonight. There's a amazing violinist coming and, um i'm this is the only time in the whole year i'm gonna put my hair up in a bun <laughs> i love I your hair to, in a bun a high bun mom loves my hair in a bun and i hate my hair in a bun. it looks fancy for the orchestra so they're going to the symphony and dad's brave he's taking them all uh, the top four the plus um bell's friend our evening kind of changed up but for the better Right? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you but gonna... I have a Willis Tower on my head. <laughs> I don't like well, why did you ask me to put it up because there? Because it's like the well, only time well, and I need How would you like your hair now? Um, Let's make it the way you like it. Um, low pony, out. but then mom hates that. No, I didn't mind. You can do a low pony. Do whatever you want. She asked me to do that to her hair. I, <laughs> I didn't do it. I do like it. I think it looks nice and fancy. You gotta dress up though. You're gonna dress up. Fancier. I don't know. I haven't looked at my closet yet. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Good. <laughs>